All right, well, waking up the morning after, how do you judge that performance? Yeah, it's obviously disappointing. I think the first half was quite an even contest. I think there was a lot of long balls played. I think in the second half we were able to play some football and create good opportunities, but unfortunately we couldn't put the ball in the back of the net, and at the end of the day, that's what counts. 32 shots to four, is that the most frustrating game of soccer you've ever played? Yeah, it's frustrating, but they defended well and uh, we didn't finish well, so uh, the nil, nil draw has probably got what we deserve. So what, what's the issue? Is it the leading, the creative bit, or the finishing? I think we can improve in all parts. I think some of our balls coming into the box are good and they should be getting put away, but um, some we're probably not creating enough really good opportunities. So. I think uh, we just got to keep going, keep working hard and keep believing in ourselves. Your, your home record is putting a lot of pressure on the season because uh, what do you got now? Seven points out of 21, which is uh, maybe you should have been the other way around than you'd be right at the top. Yeah, definitely. But um, fortunately, our away form has been good and we see ourselves in a really good position on the table. And um, I think it's a positive if we're talking about performances where we should have taken more points and we're still sitting fifth. And, I think we're, we're still in a good position. Do you think there'll be a lot of practice on finishing your training? <laughs> I think there probably will be, it's probably safe to say. Um, we've obviously got a short turnaround with the, the Wednesday night game against Victory, so our focus will be on recovery, but it will also be very important that we uh, put the chances away and yeah, we'll train hard on our finishing. So just with Nicola not starting, did he have a problem? Um, I think he just pulled up a bit sore from the last game, so his uh, training was minimal in the, in the build-up to the game and obviously looking ahead to the victory game on Wednesday night, that was a decision that was, that was made by the coaching staff. How good is it that George Blackwood's had another run, it was only a few minutes, but just more and more and more it, easing it back in? Yeah, definitely. It's really good to have Georgie around. Um, obviously, he's an important player for us. He's uh, a young striker with a lot of potential and um, even he came on last night and got himself into some good positions. Unfortunately, he couldn't put one away, but the more game time he gets, I'm um, confident that he'll put the ball in the back of the net like the rest of us. Did you see that bit when you had a shot near the end and the goalkeeper like took a dive 10 seconds later? Do you reckon he was having a lend off him? <laughs> yeah, obviously everything was just <laughs> falling for him, wasn't it? We couldn't, we didn't, to be fair, we didn't really test him well. Um, a lot of our shots came at him or were off target, so he must have been having a good day and feeling good about himself. That was quite funny. <laughs> what about uh, the victory game, Ryan? Obviously back at Cooper Stadium against Victory, it's been a little while since then. How good is it going to be to play them, I guess, at our, our real home? Yeah, I can't wait. Um, it's obviously the game that you look forward to the most. I've heard Victory are bringing a lot of fans across, so it's important that we have good numbers and good support for ourselves as well. And um, we'll be ready and we're looking forward to the game.